Okay, now I don't know if this is false rumors for, for Gargoyles live action movie, but I'm going to talk about it a little and how I feel. Now, there was rumors that they were, they, uh, they were going to, I don't know, it. I think I saw something online a year ago, but when I went to look at it the other day, I didn't see anything. There was going to be a Gargoyles live action movie that they confirmed, or, or I don't know what word they used. It's got to remember that we don't know if this is going to happen. I said to myself, I hope it doesn't. They're going to say Gargoyles. I have a complete giant collection. One of my videos shows Gargoyle collection. That's not even the updated one. Uh, the reason why I feel that way is I feel they can't get everyone together and they can't do it correctly. Um, they said that there was going to be Jonathan Frakes. Um, someone said they wanted Captain Janeway, Kate Mulgrew. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's, she's a good actor and stuff, but after I watched her... Um, interview with William Shatner on his documentary thing I was I didn't think much kindly of her anymore because she used to have kids Kate Mulgrew she didn't used to she still has kids and um it's like she sacrificed her whole home life just for Star Trek Voyager I'm sure she could have worked somewhere else she's very good with the the um uh, what's it called the um stu studio and the arts and all of that so, it would be stupid to bring her back anyway. She was never a huge main character in the show. But a lot of people from the next generation, if they brought them forward, that would have been great too. I just don't think you could get everybody together. And people are going to say that's not needed because since it's voice acting, you don't have to do that. Well, a live action film requires, I think, the people to actually be there. They better hurry up. I always said if they had a regular movie that wasn't all CGI, Jonathan Frakes could play... David Xanatos, again, he could play him again, and he could, it, and unless he gained a lot of weight, it would be perfect, he, he look, they basically, I think, from the way you look at him in the cartoon, Xanatos looks exactly like Jonathan Frakes did, the same beard, the same, look, same person, and you know, that, it kind of made me like, holy crap, that's a, that's pretty damn close. Unfortunately, I don't think they could use him. Um, I don't think they could use him in the future if they wait too long. They can't do this show with different actors and different people. Um, they can't. And I don't think they should ruin it with um, something, something in the CGI region. What they should do is they should just make a cartoon movie. And don't make one of those cheesy ones that are like, an hour and a half, an hour and ten minutes long. Make sure it's at least an hour and a half, and make something like that. Why can't you put an? An I never understood why can't you put an animated movie into the theaters? I mean, you put those shitty Disney movies into theaters all the time, that are, that are all um, computer generated. Why couldn't you put a, a put a gargoyles type of thing? There would be an appetite for it. Everyone that watched gargoyles pretty much is still alive. They're probably in their 40, um, 30s, 40s, and 50s. Maybe, and stuff like that. So, um, I'm just saying that right now. I think it would be a good idea, but, um, don't make the movie. I, I hope they don't make it. They're gonna ruin everything. This is what happens. They bring something back and they totally destroy it. Um, I don't think the actors are gonna go crazy at the opportunity either. How much money could you pay them to do this kind of work? Very minimal at best. Um, I'm not trying to be a pessimist or anything. I'm just trying to be um, realistic. I think that um, if we want this to work out, you're going you're gonna to have to make sure everything is perfect. And there's no way they're going to do that. There's no way they can bring s certain peop actors back from the dead. Now, you know, not from, not from the dead, but you know what I mean. You can't bring them back. It's impossible. I don't think you're going to be able to do it, even if they're on board. Um, and you got to think about money. It's not going to make, even though we have a loyal fan base for Gargoyles, very loyal fan base for the small amount of people that exist, I don't think there's enough to, to warrant making any money at the box office or anything like that. If you do something on Disney+, Plus, not everyone's going to be able to watch it because not everybody has it. So you're going to have to figure something, figure something out. I don't recommend you make the movie. I think you should just move on. The best thing they could do for Gargoyles right now is to remaster the entire series in Blu-ray. That includes the Goliath Chronicles because 
whether people went obviously it's standalone from the actual show it still exists in the gargoyles kingdom people don't want to accept that but it does so remaster everything in a nice blu-ray don't do a shitty job do a really good job i would rather have that than have a movie because at this point there's nothing you you could you couldn't do anything to make me believe that a movie would be any good it's just not going to happen um that's how I feel about it. <laughs> I'm just, you know, it makes me shake my head. I don't know what's wrong with these companies. There's just some people out there that don't think. All right. Bye-bye.